hash codes. A hash code is a function that converts a key to an integer. So it's going to convert a key of any type to an integer. So before we go into what are the types of hash codes we can implement, let's first understand what a good hash code is. So, the first property of a good hash code is, one, it will minimize collisions. What does this mean? This means that, given two keys which are different, their hash codes should also be different. So, if two keys, say key one, does not equal to key 2 then implies that the hash code of key 1 should also not equal to the hash code of key 2. So if two keys which are different are mapped to the same hash code then we say a collision has occurred. We don't want this. For different keys we want different hash codes. So we want to minimize collision. The second property of a good hash code is it should be uniform. That is if I have a key 1 and that key 1 is equal to a key 2 then I don't want different answers for the hash code because for the same value of the key if I run my hash code, I should always get the same value of the hash code. So if hash code, if key 1 is equal to key 2, then hash code of key 1 has to equal to hash code of key 2. These are some properties which we need to remember. So now that we know what a good hash code is, let's look at a few examples of hash code maps. So the first is going to be the memory address. So what do we do in this? We are going to interpret the memory address of the key as the hash code. So we are going to take the memory address of the key as hash code of key. So let's take an example of this. Say I have key 1 here and this is at say memory address of 5000. Then I have key 2 and this is at memory address 5010. Hash code of key 1 is equal to 5000 and hash code of key 2 is equal to 5010. As you can see, the key, whatever data type it may be, we have arrived at an integer which maps to that data. So what is the disadvantage for this? The disadvantage for this is that this hash code is not uniform. What does this mean? If I have two keys of the same value, let's say I have a key which is ABC stored at 5000 and I have a key ABC again for this is for another tuple, right? So the first tuple is stored at 5000, the second tuple is stored at 5010. Now both these tuples are going to have the same value of the key but the hash code of this key so the hash code of ABC in this case is going to be 5000 and the hash code of ABC in this case is going to be 5010 so the keys are equal but the address or but the hash code value of those keys are not equal so we say that this method of mapping to an integer 
is a non uniform method of mapping so it is not preferred so now with this in mind let's look at the next method of mapping to an integer the next method we can see is integer casting so this means whatever the data type of the key may be type casted to integer so if i have a string say a as my key then if i type cast that character it's going to return the ascii value to me and thereby i will get an integer so what is it type cast the key to integer type what is the disadvantage in this method so the drawback of this is or the disadvantage for data types like double and float we are going to encounter a loss of data so when i say the double of let's say i have a double or let's say i want to get the integer value of the double value 3.4 right and this is going to be equal to 3 because it's going to be an integer value it will take the floor value of the double but suppose i have many keys like 3.4 3.6 3.2 all of these are going to map to the same x which is equal to 3 so there's going to be a loss of data accuracy and with that what we will have is lot of collisions will occur so since lot of collisions occur with this kind of method of casting it into integer type it does not minimize collisions and so it is not a good choice when we are choosing a hash code now let's look at the next type of hash code the next type of hash code is going to be component sum so what does this mean now in integer cast hash code we said that if there's going to be any data type which is going to be larger in size than an integer data type there will be loss of data and therefore collision so component sum what it says is partition the bits of the key into fixed length components so suppose i have a float or a double that's going to be 64 bits for me this is going to be my float or double key what i will do is i will partition them into fixed bit components so i will partition them into say 32 bits and another 32 bits what i will do now is i'm going to add these two to get a 32 bit hash code now you may ask how are we going to add two 32 bit numbers and receive a 32 bit number we are going to ignore the overflow so ignoring the overflow first we are going to divide our 64 bits into two 32 bit segments or any fixed length segments we are going to add it and we are going to receive a hash code of 32 bits after ignoring overflow so how does this work in say a key which is a string so suppose so if we are going to use this for strings suppose our key is equal to post what we are going to do is we will not directly type cast this to integer we are going to divide this into four 32 bit segments so we are going to divide this into p plus o plus s plus t now we have to add these values 
each of these values we take the ASCII of each of these characters and then we will add it up and get our final hash code. Let's say that this arrives at some integer x, right? So the hash code of the key is going to equal to some integer x. We've done this by dividing the key into fixed 32-bit segments and then adding those segments. So what is the disadvantage of this component sum kind of hash code? The disadvantage is, suppose I have my key as pots or suppose I have my key as stop, right? Or suppose I have my key as tops or spot. Now for each of these keys, all of these keys are going to have the same hash code X because it is going to have the same values which are going to be added. So in this case, a lot of collisions can occur with the different arrangement of the various segments. So these keys are not equal, but all of them are having the equal hash code. That is not something which we can which we can be satisfied with. We need to take into account the arrangement of these 32-bit segments. So how are we going to take into account the arrangement of these 32-bit segments? We do that using our next method of finding hash code. This is called polynomial accumulation. So how does this work? Just like component sum, let's say our key is equal to post. We are going to first divide this into 32-bit segments. This is just like component sum. So for post, it's going to be, we are dividing this into ASCII of P, then we have ASCII of O, then we have ASCII of S, then we have ASCII of T. Now, in component sum, we will just add these. But in polynomial accumulation, we are going to take some variable or integer, some non-zero constant, say A. So I'm saying A is a non-zero constant. So what I will do is, I will take the sum ASCII of P into A to the power of 0 plus ASCII of 0 into A to the power of 1 plus ASCII of S into A to the power of 2 plus ASCII of T into A to the power of 3. This will be equal to my hash code of the key and given some non-zero constant A. In this case, as you see, if we change the arrangement of the letters, the hash code is also going to change because what it's multiplied with is also going to change. As you can see, for the same key, we are going to get the same hash code. And for different keys, we will get different hash codes. So this is going to be a good choice of hash code when we want to implement it. So what could be the program which we will write for this. So let's say that our key is going to be an array. What are the elements of the array? The 32-bit segments which we have divided our key into. So in this case, what will our array be? At position 0, we'll have the ASCII of P. At position 1, we'll have the ASCII of 0. At position 2, we'll have the ASCII of S. And at position 3, we'll have the ASCII of T. So that's what our array is going to be. So let me write the program to calculate the hash code. So I'm going to start at the very last index of the array, which is n minus 1. I want i to be greater than or equal to 0 because I want to go all the way till the end of the array. 
and decrement by one each time. Now I am going to give my sum as sum is equal to sum into a plus the array of i. So now just see how this works. So let's see for post itself. Now our array is going to be array will be p then o then s then t. Right? So obviously I am referring to the ASCII values of these things. The 32 bit segments we are dividing post into. So p o s and t. So in the beginning we start at i is equal to n minus 1. So in the beginning when i is equal to 3 then sum is equal to sum into a. At the beginning sum is equal to 0. So 0 plus array of i. So at the beginning sum is equal to t. Now let's see when i is equal to 2. So sum is equal to sum into a. So it's t into a. plus array of i. So t plus s. t a plus s. Now let's say when i is equal to 1. Then sum is equal to sum into a. So it's t a square plus s a plus array of i plus o. Let's say when i is equal to 0. Sum is equal to sum into a. So it's t a cube plus s a square plus o a plus p. As you can see we have arrived at the sum which we want to uh, arrive at. This is going to be equal to our hash code. Now of course you can always arrive at the hash code by saying array of i into a to the power of i plus again array of i into a to the power of i for all i. But this is an innovative way to arrive at the same solution and it's going to take less computation because every time we don't need to find a to the power of something. So this innovative way of arriving at the expression of the hash code in polynomial accumulation, this is known as Horner's rule. So each time we are going from the end, so each time we are going to multiply the sum by our non-zero constant and then add whatever is left of the array, the next um, element which we store in the array. These are the types of hash codes out of which polynomial accumulation using Horner rule is the best.